Boys, 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 how's it going? Y'all doing good? Mm -mm, let me see. Nah, nah, nah. Where's my cam? There we go. How's it going? Castle with a hundred streams in a row. So with Seno. What's up, guys? What is up? How you doing, Seno? Hello, show, show t-shirt. This is the... I have some paint on it, man. I've done a lot of, like, renovation in this t-shirt. It's the, uh... The OG. The, uh... The white and gray t-shirt. Yo, student, it's tomorrow. Can you share? Uh, I mean, it's it's not a huge... Well, it is a secret still, but everyone knows that something is going down today at 7 p.m. Like, uh, there was... Uh, I, I, can't, I can talk more about it at 7 p.m. There was... Uh, yeah. Uh, great, thanks. And you, I'm good as well. I am good as well. Thank you. Uh, I want to do, I want to, I kind of want to do Stone Talon, man. We haven't done that. There's so many streamers online with sussy titles. Yeah. I don't think they're allowed to do that. <laughs> like, I, I don't really give a fuck, but I, I'm pretty sure they're... Yeah. Anyways. We'll talk more about that later on. We'll talk more about that later on. Uh, Castle is in? Dude, it's awkward making uh, the shift from doing like an SOD stream to retail. Because like, the guys playing retail, they're not, well, not a lot of them are uh, usually around. So it's like filling up a group. Oh, well, that's tough alone. Yeah, quit SOD, what a quitter. Even I am playing. Yeah, you've been doing good, man. You have. Can I join? Of course you can join Seno. What do you mean? Of course. Uh, what did I say? I said Stone Talon, yes. Detro, what's up, man? Is it Stone Talon Cave? It's, uh... If you guys play Horde, we gotta do... We gotta do lake. Why not, dude? I always forget you can dragon right now. <laughs> Shit. Good cold, man. Good cold. How's it going, that troll? It's so much faster with dragon riding. Like this is quite the uh, the flight. <laughs> Who's making a horde group? No, uh, we can do it with hordes. I think Seno is playing a horde. We can do lake then. It doesn't matter. I didn't hear anything about that 7 p.m. something something. Good. Good. You're not supposed to. You're playing Alliance. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. We're good then. We can go. Uh, we can go cave. We can go cave. Haven't done dragon riding in ages. Gotta build up the momentum. And swoo! What? Why don't you just join us? Velsi, you can join us and we can do lake. Still room for gold? Never mind. Rochi is gold VIP. He's in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're full. What? I'm not that much out of the loop, am I? 
Dude, playing retail dust to you. Isn't the cave... Oh, is it up here? Windshare crag, there we go. It's up above, you're absolutely right. And they server EU, man. Boom. Yeah, you don't need to uh, have a speed set to join us, Belsy. We, like, we don't really give a fuck. We'll, uh, we'll carry you. What spec am I in? Feral. Ah, uh, shit lacks. Let me see. I don't think I've updated my retail add-ons in a while. That's what you kill your retail knowledge. Yeah, I got to brush up on that. Hey, Topski, what's good, man? Let me see. Retail 8 updates. Nothing important, though. Uh, let me see. Loot appraiser challenge. The invites are out. Mm-hmm. I haven't done this farm in a while. I'm gonna make billions. Castle, no, castle is easy to replace. He's bronze. We're just uh four people. Who are we missing? Oh, Schnellis. He's close. Are you not dragon riding? God, imagine not dragon riding. Did you see the video about Hunter is making 1.5k gold an hour in solo farming ST? Yeah, Hunter and Mages apparently. The, they're big boys. Ran out of energy? Look! Everyone in my group is in. We're the only guys playing... Uh, well, Demon is not in. We're the only guys playing retail. Does that make us absolute clowns? Or is like everyone else a clown for not playing it? That's the question. Velsi's not readying up. Filthy horde. There we go. Good job. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Um... If we have me and Castle running in upstairs and everyone else running downstairs, so me and Castle run clockwise. Wait, I need to boost Castle. Castle is pretty bad. Like, he doesn't kill a lot of mobs, so I'll carry him. As I said, I got a horde group uh, named Student in the group finder. But, like, you can't do this exact spot, Velsi. That's why I said we could do the lake, because uh, if you play Horde, you can only do the lake. These guys are going to be uh, friendly for you. We're killing the filthy Horde right now. I'm not used to running this fast. It's been a while. Alright. I think it's not the, uh, everyone playing SOD and prepping for a Kata Classic. It might be tough to fill up your reward group, man. I mean, it was tough for me to fill up my alliance group. Spiked chain gauntlets. Oh, hyper spawning. I got a blue item on SOD, by the way. Yeah, yes, not yesterday. No, I think it was uh, Monday before a stream or some shit. That was cool. 
it would have been cooler if it wasn't like the worst blue item in the entire game. It's still blue. See, Roshi's doing this solo and he's, uh, well, he's not going to beat us, but he's ahead. It's the shitty toy that I'm using. I gotta sh change the toy for maximum RNG. Farm your transmog? Yeah. It's a transmog farm. I wonder what farm we're going to do after. I kind of want... What do I want? Um, Maybe something the Rat of the Lich King? Like an Astral Bow would be nice. Or maybe down in the Crypts for those removed items. Sold a couple of those. Oh, Retail! This is a game I haven't seen in a while. I have a feeling you'll see more retail in the near future. Maybe Katabi we will be popular soon because of classic. No, the Katabi we they suck donkey dick. Unless you're talking crafted, crafted Kata. Items are um, really good. But in Kata, the items are dog shit because the appearance are shared with like basic quest rewards and like a million other items that are just bad. <laughs> Sneedy making a lot of gold. He's an underdog. Maybe he's going to beat us. As long as I can see your face, I'm happy. Holy shit. You mean like no comment saying something like, Ew, why are you not playing SOD? Or the other way around, Ew, student, why are you not playing retail? Um. Houston, why aren't you playing Seasonal Mastery? Seasonal Mastery was a total fiasco. Student, why are you playing WoW? I have no clue. Hey, Stu, I bought your book and I'm getting close to my very first gold cap. I know it's a small number for some of you guys, but I always sucked at gold making. So TLDR, I appreciate all your hard work and the good content. Also, shout outs to Vinny's mom. I fucking love Vinny's mom. <laughs> Dude, that is so awesome, man. Gold cap is good. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. There's very few people in this game that has gold cap. Uh, it's easy to forget that sometimes when you're dealing with the guys in the chat sitting at hundreds of millions of gold. But the fact is, there's not a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people that's gold capped. There's a lot of people that try to obtain gold cap, but they don't. They give up. So good fucking job, man. Why not playing PUBG? That is actually a good question. Maybe I should been years. Have you made a guide recently about your TSM profile? No. I never even had 1 million gold, so you're good. You'll get a million gold an hour in the Warwood Inn if you get into a 2 times 4 group, day 1. As long as there's BWE epics and mounts. Uh, if there isn't, and it's something like Dragonfly, how much did we get in Dragonfly? Like 150k an hour in mats. Like cloth and uh, mats. Cloth was very good gold per hour. It was steady gold, but I don't think we uh, got to like more than um, 
150k an hour with that. Could be wrong. But even then, quite easy to make a mill. I should get my gold cap back. I had it. And then I bought stuff. And then I stopped playing. Right now, it's super bad. The dragonfly farms are super bad now. Yes. Making a million gold is not a... It's only tougher to make a million gold now doing current content stuff. Making a million gold in general is not that hard. I'm curious how many people has gold cap. It would be cool if they released uh, stats like that. They should do like Statistic Friday on Twitter. Blizzard. Just random stats. Like, what is the average amount of gold per account? How many people has 10 million gold or more? How many deaths do people have? You know, like, those kind of stats that they did with Season of Discovery in the beginning. Like, one week into SOD. Uh, and also Hardcore WoW. They were like, there's been 400,000 deaths. The most lethal mob was... I think that's interesting. Last week I made 150k only posting two or three times. So that's pretty nice. 24 hour post. Yeah. I posted my auctions uh, yesterday actually. And I uh, got some uh, decent sales. But uh, it might be a week until next time I post. So I can't be arsed to like save the sales. And do like a mailbox clean out. Not until I'm like back. On retail, like back, back. Now we just post whenever. Boom, 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 boom. How is uh, Castle beating me, though? What did you get? Spike chain leggings? Uh, nothing cool. Slayer Cape still has an insanely high value. I remember when that was like 200,000 gold. Yeah. Last sold half a year ago, 2,000 gold average. I'm missing a lot of these items on the auction house, though. Yeah, shit. Good thing. Uh, good call doing this part. I'm going to try to start posting daily again, even if I don't really farm at the moment. You should. I've heard rumors that there's going to be quite some quite expensive things coming to uh, retail WoW. The gold sinks are going to be real. Hey, Clarity, what's up, dude? New auction house mount. Oh. I have a comment on the auction house mount a bit later today without sounding too cryptic. I still gotta buy the golden beetle mount thingy. Etc. Got the gold for to buy it, but I don't think it disappears until August or November or whatever it was. I haven't bought that myself. I obviously I don't care about the gold. I just I don't think it's a cool mount. Like I don't have the two million gold spider because I don't think it's that cool. Man, I want to get back into gold farming, but Terry Mill is not the realm to do it on. Change realm. 
I know a lot of people that makes a lot of gold on Tower and Mill. Maybe you just gotta change the way you approach gold making. Tower and Mill ain't bad. I'm making a single on Tower and Mill. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. I like the idea you talked about ages ago about the modular amount where you can buy different NPCs depending on what servers you want. That will be like my number one thing. However, can't talk about it just now. But, um, This is hard, man. Archimon, this is great for gold making. I made so much gold I had to quit. <laughs> you couldn't handle the wealth. God damn, it was so annoying having to constantly make new uh, characters to store the gold caps on. Oh, so you're under NDA. You know, I'm... Student knows something we don't? I do. I do. Yes, I, I know a lot that you guys don't know right now. A lot of people do. A lot of con... I'm gonna stop. And I know what it is. I bet you do. I bet you do. Yes, Castle. Also, why spend the gold on a shitty gold sink mount? Just sell the gold and buy something nice for yourself in real life. Aha! Uh -huh. Why didn't I think of that? Student is pregnant? I wish. You get like a year off work if you not if you're pregnant i think but like it, once you have the child you just play wow all day but then again you have the i'm not sure how that works but uh you get one of those uh au pairs but those are actually not legal in norway right now shit they had to uh, they had to close down the uh the au pair uh thingy in norway because the rich fucks were abusing it Five million to gold cap? You've been gold cap before though, so it's easy for you. Or a stadium. Yes, first place. Still got it. Still got it. And no, it's not luck based. It's purely based on skills. Mm -hmm. My friend just got a baby. He's playing WoW all the time. Baby sleeps all day. See? Easy. But they do say that... Um, I read this article, and that was a Tiger Willies appreciate to follow, man. The article was fucking old. Like, I think it might have been like 10 years. And um, in Norway, the cost of having a kid from like level, not level, fuck. <laughs> from it's a baby until it's 18 was over a million Norwegian crones, over 100k. And I, I tried to do the math, but like, how the fuck do you spend a million or 100k? Like, what the fuck are you buying? I mean, in Hungary, it's probably like a thousand dollars for 18 years. I know we needed a new topic of conversation, but how did we land on a pregnant student? <laughs> it's a nice way of saying, student, you put on some weight lately. Love the return of retail gold farming. I mean, uh, never gonna quit retail gold farming. Never ever. Will always be the main gig. Will always be the main gig. But uh, I've said it before, and uh, I'm probably gonna say it a million times still. 
I, I'll still play SOD. I think SOD is a lot of fun. What makes it fun for me right now, though, is uh, doing the raids with the boys in the chat. That's fun. Gold making wise, it's like, yeah, it's, it's fine doing all the different farms that you can do that phase. But then doing it multiple times when you have enough gold is, I don't know. It's not that much fun. It's, it's still fun, but it's not as fun. If we had something like Thunder Fury that needs a hundred uh, uh, ar arcane, right? That's expensive. But I can afford that. I can get that easily. But I think that's the only expensive thing. Unless they make something new. Yo, OP! Good game yesterday, man. Holy shit. Carried by a Norwegian uh, Rio son. I love it. Now that the Barcelona is out, I, I, fuck, I hope you guys win the entire thing. That will be fucking badass. That will be so cool. That's true, Clarity. That's true, that's ex best expensive. Oh, holy shit. Hey, Joe. That's insane. Doesn't it cost tens of thousands to give birth for the hospital? In the US? Yeah. It does. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah, it is. Like, OP, you guys have nothing to do down there, man. You guys are supposed to uh, produce good players and sell them to the teams with money. That's your main job. I wish I found SD more fun. It was great phase one rating with you, etc. But I don't feel like I have enough time to grind it right now. And farm some gold for consumes and stuff. You don't need all of that, though. Like, the raid is weekly. You just gotta show up weekly, do the raid with us. Consumes? You get, you get like, on average, two flasks every run you do. Like, they added consumables. Like, when you do the raid... You get like these flasks that drops in the raid. We split them amongst everyone in the raid. And it averages to about two flasks. Two flasks plus per guy attending the raid. I mean, sure, you can like get wizard oil and all of that as well, but... If anyone wants to join us farming on the Horde side, there's a group called Student and Custom Groups. They're doing the lake, so it doesn't have to be Horde. Alliance can join the Velsi as well. The raid is easy as fuck, super easy. That would be sick, OP. Do we still get Gold Farm Guide if pay the new patch? Like if you already have the gold guide, you you will get every single update for free. Yes. No, no, no. You can. They changed that a while ago. Velsi, Horde, and Lions can play with each other and loot each other's kills. The loot is shared now. Works like a charm, man. That's why we wanted you in. Because it doesn't matter if we play Horde, we would just have to do a different spot. But you could still join us. Is there any new gold farms with Season 4 or not? Season 4 is horrible from a gold-making perspective. It really is. The last couple of patches for retail has been really bad. For gold-making. In form of new content to do. Sadly.
No, I'm busy and Charlie Minutes has got a Netflix appointment. Come Aram. What is Aram? I will never forget Blizzard. Forgive Blizzard for what? Retail got shafted in 9.2 with regional wide mats. Yeah, I get it. Like, regional wide mats was a slap in the fucking face for, like, the average gold farmer, right? Because the average gold farmer, his way of making gold was materials. And uh, they got kind of fucked on that. But everyone buying materials, they're happy as fuck with the change. Everyone crafting, happy as fuck with the change. Aram is a League of Legends game mode. The most fun part of League. Uh huh. I really enjoyed Obsidian and uh, Vashir. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. The herbalism mining route in that place was insane. I got clocked overnight, went from 150-200k a day to basically zero. By the way, student, how much gold and gain gold gain in terms of value min buyout do you consider enough to realm transfer an item and start posting it? Uh, that's a tough question. It's very individual as well. Like uh I know some people without mentioning name, I don't want to out them, but there's a lot of people making a lot of gold focusing on the smaller transmog items. However, the smaller transmog items with a high sell rate. An example is something like the, uh, uh, let's say the uh, the Buccaneers hat, right? From STV. Buying those for like a thousand gold, selling them for like 15, 20, 40,000 gold on shit realms. And then you have people who can't be harsh with that and they only buy items in the, like the hundreds of thousands of gold range. You gotta find you a way. Oh shit, my inventory is full. How do you go about finding a good server to sell items on? Like, is it better for low pop or medium pop? I made a video on that a couple of weeks ago, actually. How to do it. I can probably find that video again if you can't find it. But if you click on my videos and you scroll through like the last pff, shit, I don't know, the two, three weeks, maybe. You should see it. So when will I sell my hot shots? I need exact time and date. Are you the only seller on your realm? I don't think so. Last time I checked, it was me and two more. Thought about selling it in another realm. I know one good gold making video for search student or Norwegian delicacy. God, I always forget about that, and then you have to bring it up. Fuck, I, I get that turkey blood the mouth uh, taste. Taste in my mouth, even. How do I declare a 300,000 knock when I cash out my CS inventory to buy a home? That's easy. You uh, you transfer the money over to any crypto exchange website. And um, then you tell them. It, none of it is gains. And there's only 22% tax on crypto. But you can probably get off the hook without paying anything.
No, it's not tax fraud. Can't you say it was a gift? You gotta pay a tax and gift as well. It's Norway, man. You think you're gonna let you off the hook? Everyone would just be receiving gifts left and right. You can receive up to a certain amount in gifts per year without paying a tax. I think it's like seven hundred dollars. That like that could be wrong, but it's uh it's like less than a thousand dollars a year. What the rich people do, though, is you don't have to... In Norway, every form of art is considered tax-free. That's why uh, rich folks buy, like, a painting for $20 million just to store their wealth so they don't have to pay a tax. Because in Norway, you have to pay a tax on your wealth, right? So if you have $100 million in your bank account, you got a tax on that because you're wealthy. But if you buy art, you don't have to do that. Art is tax free. Company gift is only fifty dollars. If you go over that, it will get problem with the work policies. We'll have to pay a tax over that. However, if you have your own company or you're a, a shareholder in a company, you can give gifts up to I think it's nine hundred dollars. So if you have a company, you can uh, give yourself. A Christmas gift for like 900 bucks without paying tax on it. As a company, though. Who's that? The dudes? Three months with the prime? Legend, man. Dude. Laughing face? Welcome back in. Welcome back in. Faxi, you also resubscribe. Mabo, you didn't announce your resub, dude. What are you doing? Farms are going good. I'm, uh, shit. I was about to say I'm number one, but Castle is, uh, well... There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Almost four years, man. 37 months. My man. Dude. Appreciate it a fuck ton, buddy. You joined in uh, just at the right time. There's some exciting... I've heard rumors that there are some exciting stuff happening in exactly uh, 13 minutes. Hmm. Good morning, Shaftomatic. What's up, dude? You don't have to go to Twitter, no. Castle. <laughs> Just got internet rolling finally. Nice. War with an alpha leaked. Students doing a sponsored Blizzard segment where he shows up the collector's edition of the new expansion. Ban me if it's correct. <laughs> that is not correct. No. I do not have a collector's edition of the War Within. Feels bad, man. New farm? Nah, this one is old as fuck. Is it true that Epic stay on the course for 30 minutes? 
But if one person looted, it will start a three minute despawn. Uh, yes and no. There's no like, there's no like correct information out on the internet about that, man. It is true that Epics and Blue stay on the body for thirty minutes, and there's rumors, and I've also seen it myself, where somebody has looted a mob that contained the blue. We tested it with sky shards actually, and it did despawn faster when somebody looted that mob. Wait, what the what the fuck? Why did I pre-order the water within? Because you want to get that early access. Hopefully you got the uh, the the heroic edition, man. So you can play the uh, the game three days ahead of anyone else. The question is, is eleven ninety nine too low for endless flask? I mean, it's long, and I'm getting more than the bot under because because they say it's more go like thirty gold per flask. And I just can't price that right now due to the bots undercutting it. It's hard to beat the bots. So yeah, whenever we do a farm where uh, we're killing for blues and, uh, and epics and looting like every 20-30 minutes, we tell everyone to not loot. Just in case. Why did you buy it? He bought it because Chris Metzen is back. And uh, OP wants player housing. What's your speed percentage? Uh, my speed is uh, on this tune. Well, I'm not in cat right now, but it's like 267%. Are you guys doing another lack after this one? Just seeing that you're alive? Yeah. Wrath of Lichen Classic is the only thing keeping me going with WoW. But there's always going to be one thing in WoW that's going to keep you going, with all the different versions that are throwing out. Should I just wait for a Cataclysm to get the gold? To be honest, everything right now is dirt cheap in Wrath of Lich King. Have you looked at... You got to think outside the box. And, uh, like, I made an insane amount of gold in Wrath of Lich King doing TBC. Mining. It was insane. People are stalking Corium, Fell Iron, Adamantite for Cataclysm when they can craft Transmog. Primals was also sky high. Yeah, you guys, uh, my shit, it was just lagging. I thought it was disconnecting. If you guys want to join the lack, just add my battle tag, exclamation mark, uh, B tag in chat. I'll get you in.
Next farm is uh, the war within farm, I wish. Doing any semis in Odin snooze. I only have half a tower left. Who the fuck snoozes Odin's, man? What? Slayer's Cape? A castle, you're fucked now, dude. Odin's uh, CD is the one and only toxic waste news that everyone should use to rot their gums. Pass. Hey, Balonski! Tier 2 big boy with the 51 months, mama! Hi, hi, hi! How's it going, dude? How's your day? Why are those bracers 92k? Well, they're kind of fake value. They're only 1.6. I sold my last pair for 1.4k. It's just the average price in the region. There's some clowns posting them for hundreds of thousands of gold. However, they are the only male bracers with that appearance, so they're unique. So it's good bracers, but they shouldn't be that high. The, the thing is, when we first started doing this farm, like many years ago, well, like a decade ago, you would sell some of these items for over 100,000 gold. Like, you get 50, 60, 70, 120,000 gold sales on these items. Often. Very often. But then, like most farms, as to get more attention, more people farming him. It goes down. Hey there, what farm is this? This is Stone Talon Windshare Mine over here. This is the Alliance version of the farm, because these mobs are going to be friendly if you try to kill them on a horde, but there's a... There's a horde version of it as well. Janity Mama! Look at the amount of months, guys! Yeah, 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 the three digits, the 100 months resub. Only beaten by fucking Sacco. He was the first guy with 100 months. That is still fucking huge, though, man. Huge! Few days overdue, yeah. Still though, big thank you. That's so cool. Actually insane. Oh shit, it's now 57. Three more minutes until the internet. Lits on fire. Eight year subscriber batch when? Yeah, I should realize I've been slacking on those, man. <laughs> Why have you decided to hide your sub count? If you can flex it on top, flex on the bottom. Let's take a look. 194? Oh, it's... Don't show it! Clarity, what are you doing, man? Do not show the sub count. We can't let people see the sinking shit. It's, uh... It's a secret. It's less than 200 subs. You know, like now people are going to say that I'm washed up. The sink, the, the ship is sinking. The game is dead. Nobody wants to watch you, student. You suck donkey. They, like, I already see the comments, you know? This is fucking sinking. 
Three minutes, I'm starting to level my Dwarf Healer? What are you talking about, Dwarf Healer? What's up, Garlara? Damn, still you washed up? Still play that dead game? I forgot to use my Prime, see? That's why it's sinking, people forgetting their Twitch Primes. Yo, Limebows. Appreciate the 16 months, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's one minute. Hold on. I gotta make this ready. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And it is seven! Okay, now I can talk about it. So, uh, most of you guys, well, not most of you guys, but some of you guys probably already know because there was some absolute clowns who fucking leaked it, and they leaked it hard, man. Uh, but there was a bunch of content creators who got invited by Blizzard, and uh, strangely enough, I was one of them. And they uh, allowed us to play The War Within for the last couple of days. Like, we've been playing it, we've been testing it, uh, we all got thrown into this Discord server together, where uh, we had, like, we interviewed the devs, asking them questions about the long boys, about building your own mounts. And it's not a sponsor segment, they're not paying me shit for this. Uh, testing out different builds, the dev delves, the dungeons. Like, we did a lot of things. And uh, I see, yes, the uh, Twitter is on fire right now. <laughs> and the War Within launches on Monday. Yeah, it does. The first ever WoW expansion with a surprise launch. Already on Monday. So you guys better hurry up, take some time off work, because it's uh, it's happening. I made a video as well. I made a lot of videos. This is just my kind of first impressions about the war within the expansion that you guys can take a look at if you want to. I just need to post this. The war within... Who was that? Garlara with a 17 months. My man, appreciate it. I'm just fucking with you guys. It's not launching on Monday, but Alpha. Like, uh, the war within Alpha is coming out. Uh, you might want to check your email pretty soon to see if you have, uh, if you've been invited. But the war within most likely launches faster than people are aware of, though. Um... <sighs> How did you get into the Alpha? Blizzard invited me into the Alpha. I'm gonna see if I can play it right now, or if they shut down the realm so I can show you guys. Uh, they s yeah, shit. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Log in again. We're not so. So basically, they gave us a Blizzard account to play the War Within on, and then they were gonna close down the Blizzard accounts and give us, like, normal Alpha account on our main accounts. So we could play it and show it to you guys. But the alpha, if I'm not mistaken, the alpha invites are being sent out starting the first batch today. And then uh, you'll be able to play it tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, but, 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 but I have the battle net open right now. But let's see if I can play it. Not able to verify that. Hold on. They might have... It looks like they've uh, kicked me out. Yeah, the battle net is offline as well. Shit. <laughs> okay. I can't actually play it. But there's uh, been a lot of things that you guys have talked about with the long boy mount, etc. That I wanted to comment on. Because that was my question. For the, the WoW devs. It was... So when we got invited to play uh, the War Within Alpha, it was funny because we got thrown onto this um, this Discord server with a bunch of like the Echo and the Mythic Raiders and a bunch of content creators like Tauli and the Soul So Breezy 
and like everyone else. And everyone, and it was like, yo, anyone want to run dungeons? Anyone want to do delves? Every, anyone want to group up, <laughs> right? Uh, doing like the actual content. And I was just sitting there like, god damn, I got to find the best gold farms, man. I don't got time to run any dungeons. What the fuck is this? <laughs> and he like, this, we weren't that many people playing, right? Like on the alpha, it was only press and us. So, so you kind of needed to play with the people on that Discord server if you wanted like a five-man group. Uh, but I was just running around testing gold farms. It was it was a lot of fun. I just went past people testing my gold farms, and they just like in slash say, "Yo, dungeon!" And I was just zooming past them. Fuck that! Gotta go fast. And the testing that I did on uh, the alpha, first of all, I do have this coming in videos, by the way, showing the druids and the AOE builds, but. Druids are fucking insane from a gold making uh, perspective. Like, they are fucking sick. Pee Epics, I asked about that too. We're coming to that. Uh, but yeah, Druids. You know, with the, the hero talents where you can spec into two different trees outside of, you know, like Feral, Balance, and, uh, and Guardian, Resto. You can pick this uh, kind of like defensive Resto spec on your hero talents as a Druid. That gives you a lot of cool shit. Like, you you can spawn tree ants that cast Moonfire on random targets. They're fucking insane. <laughs> it's so cool. You can pull an insane amount of mobs, pop up your tree ants, they aggro the mobs and just spam Moonfire on them. And you can spec him to get, like, double the HP. It is really insane. Um, it, it really is. They are, balanced Druids are better than they have ever been. Really. The only thing that would make him better is if you had, like, the old Starfall. You know, like, the Panda Starfall that attacked absolutely everything. Now it attacks everything that's in combat, but... It's really good. Does that work in old content as well? The Tree Ants? Yeah. Like, everything does. Everything does. The, the thing that made it hard... To test, like, gold farming-wise, like, I found a lot of lot of sick spots. I found a lot of uh, things that weren't... That probably won't make it alive. Like, I found some mobs that hyper-spawns in an absolutely insane broken rate. Uh, which, like, I, I can't make a video on that or show it until... Uh, until we're about to go live, because I'm not sure if it makes it alive. It's like in Dragonflight as well. I found some gold farms in... The alpha and beta on Dragonflight, and they fixed it before the game went live. I can't give it any attention, so we can uh, take advantage of it before before it gets nerfed. Uh, but yeah, so what is this crap? Retail grows. It's uh, when we had the the Q and A. Sadly, not every question got answered. We had like an hour with the uh, the devs to talk with the devs about uh, the war within. I was lucky though because my two questions um, my two questions were uh, were answered. I was the first guy who well almost the first. I think my question was like num number five and number twelve because I just copy pasted the shit out of uh, it into the Zoom chat. Long boy confirmed. One hour each. One hour for everyone that was in the Zoom call. So there was 250 questions that didn't get answered because we had to end, right? And uh, do you want to hear my questions? Like, you can instantly tell that I'm farming gold. My questions were... Let me do a direct quote. So my the first question that I asked was... In Dragonflight, we saw a lot of previously unobtainable items making their way back to the game. Are you planning on bringing back more items in the War Within? Like the highly requested Caravan Brutusar from BFA, right? And it was just awkward silence, and one of the WoW devs just had a smirky smile, right? And the other WoW dev said, do you want to answer this one? I can see, I can tell by your face that you want to answer this one. And he just said... Well, on my personal account, I never got around to buying the Longboy, and I would really like the Longboy, 
But at this given time, I cannot comment on that. Which was really cryptic. Because when they didn't know, they just said, Oh, I don't know. That's that's outside of my uh, my division. I don't work on that. I have no clue. So, uh, I have no clue. I honestly have no clue. He just said, I can't comment on that. And they only used the phrase, I can't comment on that at this time, when it was something that they, they didn't want to reveal. It was supposed to be secret. Like, there was a bunch of questions about, uh, like, stuff that you could see in this build of Alpha War Within. That was like, wait, is Dalaran making a return to the game? And they were like, that's a secret. You're going to have to wait and see. Uh, my other question was... Let's see, question two, question two. Dragonflight was the first expansion to not have tradable open-world epic items. Is this something you're planning on reintroducing? And will there be tradable collection items from specific zone slash mobs like we've seen in previous expansions with, for instance, the zone drop mounts in BFA? That one, they just replied, that's not my division, I have no clue what the plans are on that. There was a lot of questions like that. There was also, for those of you guys doing a uh, profession in Dragonflight, like professions in the War Within, like the profession system is going to be exactly the same as Dragonflight. Exactly the same thing where you get knowledge, you can spec into different uh, profession trees. However, uh, when it comes to work orders, they made a small fix. Not necessarily what a lot of people want, but NPCs will place crafting orders. So you don't have to rely on, like, a fucking clown with a, with a work order. NPCs will uh, make work orders. Like, there's gonna be, like, a fucking dragonkin, an, an NPC in the, the new hub. That's like, yo, I need two helmets. And you can uh, place the... Uh, or fulfill the, the order from the NPC. So, that there's so much information, like, uh, I, I don't remember everything. I've written everything down, and I've recorded every interview uh, and Q&A, though. Uh, so I think that's great, because you don't have to rely on other people. And that's basically what went over and over again with the War Within and the, the saga that we're stepping into, they want people to be able to do solo content, and solo content only, and they will achieve what 99% of people will be able to achieve doing group content. So, an example of that is the Delves. If you don't know what the Delves is, it's pretty much like walking into one of those bonus caves or dungeons in Diablo, where you walk around and all of a sudden there's a pop-up on your minimap, of like a cave or an instance you can go into, and it's like a, a, a mini map with different objectives and rare elites and chests and whatnot. And you can complete those on different uh, difficulties, kind of like a Diablo Rift. In season one, it goes from tier one to tier 10. The higher the difficulty, the better loot you get. And when you do those, the progress will, uh, will work on the Great Vaults. Right? So uh, it's like complete 10 delves to choose between like three different rewards from the Great Vaults. And that can be tier set items as well. So I think that's really cool. Same thing with the war bands. They talked a little bit more about the war bands and how it will work in general. And uh, it's fucking badass. Like everything is account bound now to the war band. Like, there's items that's bound to, uh, that's like a war bound. So you can send the item back and forth between every alt in your war band. There's also items that's, um, that's like, they're war band items, but they will be bound on the tune that you, uh, that you use them on. So if you get like a really sick, let's say you get an epic sword, right? But you don't need that epic sword on your tune. You can send it to one of your alts in your warband, equip it on that alt, and then it's going to be bound. Like, you can't send it to anyone else after that, but still really good. Still really good. And then, uh, when I say everything is bound to your warband, I mean everything. Like, for instance, when you do the delves, you have a companion with you. In Season 1, it's 
what's his name? Bran, Bronzebeard, you level him. The more delves you run, the more XP he gets, the more powerful he gets. So if you do that on your main tune, and when you're about to level your alt and you step into a delve, Bron Bran fucking Bronzebeard is going to be like a level 50 giga chat and he's going to carry your ass. Because it's um, like war ban bound or account wide. That's really cool. They also, there's also some love for PvP, or, and I think, again, really focused on the, the solo content. And I think that is the best change PvP-wise. You can r queue up to a random rated battleground. It is fucking awesome. So you don't need to go with a pre-made to queue into a rated battleground. Like, rated battleground will have the random uh, sign-up, like solo, as a by default. Because they want more people to be able to just solo enjoy uh, PvP as well. That is a fucking great change. I always felt like Rated Battlegrounds was uh, an unused potential. So you will basically queue up and you will enter a Rated Battleground with people of similar rating to yourself. And then you're not going to face all those fucking pre-mates. So that's really cool as well. I hope there's going to be some BOE transmog in the delves. I've ran... I did a lot of uh, delves on, uh, on the alpha. There are some interesting loot. I think delves could be a great solo way of making gold in the War Within. Because when you run a delve, you, first of all, you can loot the mobs inside the delves, right? They have a loot table. They drop gray items. They drop uh, raw gold and all of that. And when you complete the delve... Based on your difficulty, not only do you get like a, a gear piece upgrade, but it can also drop crafting regions. And also, more interesting, hidden recipes. It drops like plants and patterns and recipes running the delves. So hopefully it's going to be a nice way of uh, making gold as well. I think that could be really cool. The Delves for all right. There's like uh, Delves are fun though overall. Yeah, but like uh, if uh, if there isn't like an element of RNG in the Delves, I think you can get bored of running them, right? Because the Delves are quite short, shorter than most dungeons in the game. Like it's shorter than running, uh, like the map isn't that big, at least not the ones that we were able to do on build one. Right, so uh, it, it's like I'm trying to figure to think of something to compare uh, with when it comes to size. It's uh, all right. So, do you guys remember in uh, Legion when you went to Suramar and you went into that temple and you had all those withered mobs with you? It's it's kind of like that in terms of the length of the dungeon or the the, the delve. Uh, the only... There is some RNG element to the delves, though. Like, the mobs will not be the same in every single delve. Like, so you can't just put on a blindfold and run through the delve because you've done it 500 times before. Like, there's going to be some smaller mobs easier to kill and then some elite mobs, and they're going to spawn at different locations every single time. Are they infinite? You can run them many times. Yes, and there's like two to three delves per zone. So there's a lot of different delves with different mobs, different objectives to complete the delve. So uh, I think they're interesting, but yes, personally, I would need... Uh, I would need some kind of RNG elements to keep me going. Like, if we knew that there was a chance of getting a really rare uh, recipe for instance, from the Delve, then I would be all over it. Something really expensive. Or if you just make like a really nice, steady amount of gold from uh, green items, for instance. Not green items, uh, crafting regions. But it looked really cool. There's a lot of... Like, warriors looked really fun as well. The ways you can change their abilities uh, to your playstyle, like, they looked like a lot of fun. 
Not that I'm going to play one, because they're not going to be good at gold farming, but... Go to people that play a war. Shadow Priest? Also really cool. There's uh, It's coming in a later build. Like, Shadow Priests are going to have this thing where they can cast down kind of like a Void Zone that deals AoE damage and slows people out. And you can spec the Void Zone with different things. So the Void Zone does different things. It's like sucking the, the mobs into the Void. And you can spec it so it can do like different things to the mobs. A lot of shitty gray items. I gotta sort these out once I send them to my bank. You won the lack? Yeah, but you cheated, man. You cheated. GG. 1.5 million gold. Easy lack. E C lack. I wonder if this is the video that we watched. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it is. Make it louder. Oh, I forgot to talk about that. That's very interesting. So what they said about the uh, the personalized mounts. Uh, wait, hold on. What farm are we doing now? What farm are we doing now? Uh, shit. Let me see. Are we doing Wrath of the Lich King? Um, the crypts or, uh... Jungle Mill, perhaps? What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? Yeah, like, basically what they said is, when you do the delves, you can build your own mounts. Like, give it a lot of cool attachments, uh, and so on. And um, they they say that they're going to make the uh, crypts. All right, we'll do the crypts. They have a lot of plans for uh, mounts, like where you can build your own mount. They have a lot of plans for that for the future. So my dream of being able to, uh, to build a mount with an auction house on it is still alive, right? Uh, but wait, who's this? Who's Tail Leaf? So, Zeus with the 50 months. Hey, Zeus. Thank you so much for the 50 months. Appreciate that a ton. How's it going? They pretty much said... Wait, I'm not sure who's in now. Let me invite Vimy. That once they have the fundamentals of building your mount and they see that they're working, they're gonna keep on working on that for other cool ideas that they have. So I really hope uh, we'll be able to make our own mount and choose the NPCs that we put on it so we can put an auction house on it. Maybe a portal mage to portals everywhere. I'm good, we got keys today. Nice! Congrats! What's the next farm? Uh, next farm is uh, the uh, uh, Dragon Blight uh, Crypts. Yeah. Dragon Blight Crypts. Who is in? Seno is in. Mivi is in. Yo, Roshi, are you joining? What now? What? What? Yeah, I should have gone uh, from Dalaran. Uh, but I thought we were doing Jungle Bay. Demon wants to stay. But this is... Wait, that's Vimy. Why not? Yeah, that means Castle is out. He's just AFK? Yeah. 
En dan uh, Demon is in. Hey, hey, I see you logged into the wrong client. The client, no worries, though. <sighs> Student Dragonfly? Dude, I always forget to dragon ride. You're joining on another druid? Alright, I'll kick this one out. Show the map when you get there? Will do. Wait, I almost forget... Forgot where the, uh, here's the crypts. It's right here. This is where you enter under the Wither Guard Keep. Then you go down here. I wonder if they already sent out the, uh, or if they said... Let me see if I have any email. From Blizzard. I'm pretty sure they said they were going to send out... Emails to whoever would get alpha access, but you wouldn't be able to enter until tomorrow. I think that was the play. I hope a lot of you guys get into alpha. Guys. You know how I was uh, talking about gold sinks? Take a look at this chat. Was there any cool info though, like closing the game entirely? You suck. I don't have to opt in for alpha, right? That's just random. You have to opt in for the beta. If you opt in for the beta, you have a chance of getting into the alpha. That's kind of expensive. No, that's just... Uh, that's been altered with. It was 25,000 gold. It's 25,000 gold. I checked it on the alpha. It wasn't 2.5 million. That was so, so breezy tweeting that out just to fuck with people. So there's um, there's a lot of cool things. Another thing that's new that a lot of people will enjoy, they want people to play as many outs as they, they want to, right? So every single time you level to 80, the XP will percent, like it increases on your outs. If that makes sense. You level your main, leveling your out is going to be faster. The next out is going to be faster. Hopefully that makes sense. Show the map again, student. You enter right under uh, Decay and Keep. One mob and you ding. Alright, everyone in? Dude, like everyone is playing a horde, but me and Vimmy. I gotta make uh, or change my macro on this. I'm in Alliance too? You weren't in the LAC. Oh, there we go. Yo, Roshi, you gotta request the LAC invite, man. But you're a high Roshi? There's a lot of cool shit, at least. I'm excited for uh, War Within. The first question, well, uh, the most asked question in uh, the, the Q&A was, 
when can we expect the expansion to launch? <laughs> Yo, Stuart, how's it going? It's going good, buddy. It's going good. Thanks for asking. And the reply to that, by the way, was uh, something in the lines of we don't have the uh, announcement date right now. It depends on how good the alpha is, like how successful the alpha is. If the alpha is successful, they fix everything that's an issue, do all the tuning, then they will get a date on when they feel like the expansion is ready. And they're releasing a new alpha build every single week. Opening up new zones, new things to test out, etc. Bruto BOE epics, but I told you, Castle, you're gonna 50 gifted kahunas! God damn! Still a sinking ship, but it's not sinking that much. Wait, now we can put up, where is my... Subscriber account. Shit, it's still 197. Hold on, gotta wait like a minute. Gotta wait like a minute. Holy fuck, Garlara, you absolute sick cunt. Garlara has now gifted a total of 3,101 subscribers. How did he get all that money? He invented the fucking Bitcoin. Yeah, he did. He is literally the inventor of the Bitcoins. Not fucking with you. His name is Satoshi Garlara. Dodged? How do you dodge a gifted sub? There's barely 50 people watching. You got some bad karma, dude. You've done some fucked up shit. Then 50 subs are pretty cheap if he was the inventor of Bitcoin. That's a good fucking point, dude. Should have been 50 million subs. Uh, wait, is it safe to show it? No, it's not safe to show it yet. It's not safe yet. And uh, I recorded a video on the alpha of the war within of me running a delve just to show people like what a delve would look like right but the thing is when you, you're playing on like this press i think it's called like a press test server as meant for the, the the press to test out the server right a fucking hat trick three in a row mom and key with a beautiful twitch pride appreciate it buddy how's it going key how's it going and yeah, I was going to do this delve for a video so I could show you guys how a delve looks like. But like, my game kept on crashing, right? So, and every time it crashed, I would have to redo my key bindings. And I got so tired of redoing my key bindings, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do this delve while clicking my spells. And I nearly died. It was so bad. It's NDA, right? I had to sign like a million pages of an NDA. I don't want to be signed, sued by Blizzard. They sue everyone in the U.S. Do you have to follow their own pace of release on their stream or something? Uh, no, like, everything is... Well, not everything. Most things are, like, open, open season, open book right now. Uh, but th there was a couple of restrictions, though on what we could uh what we could show and so on like for instance we were allowed to record uh some of the the video footage etc from ion that we were shown we were allowed to record the q a sessions and we were allowed to refer to what we saw and what we were told but we couldn't show it in videos so you're not going to see any content creator with like actual footage of like the q a for instance because that's not allowed. Sleepy as fuck? What have you been up to? What is the good drops from this farm? These guys can drop items that was previously removed from the game. Like the archaic long spare. This one. That's one example. It's a unique uh, pole arm. There's a couple of them. Did you read it? So do you know? Can you tell us about the actual release date? I cannot 
talk about the actual release date at this given time. Castle. But it releases on Monday. Now, everyone knows about the release date, but they cannot. They can't talk about it. They will sue your ass. Hey, Serbs. Have a good one, buddy. Peace out. Yes, I'm pretty much a dev now. You won't go to prison for that anyway, so just show it right now. You can't keep a secret, it's going to be a student TV in a heartbeat, yeah. A few thousand USD? We're talking millions. They don't give a fuck if you don't have any money, they're going to sue you for 50 million. They're going to look at like, okay... WoW makes X amount of millions a year? You just fucked us. Now give us 700 million USD. Well, I don't have 700 million USD. That's your problem. Boom, 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 boom. But the expansion is sooner than you think, Castle. You gotta hurry up to prep. You gotta invest millions of gold. We gotta take time off work? Yeah. Exactly. Do you know if the alpha is the same for a US EU? Like, we could play together. Yeah. On alpha or on test servers in general, it doesn't matter if you play EU or NA. Hey, Condor, and what's good, dude? I saw a lot of Asian names while uh, trying the mop remix on PTR the other day, too. Dude, I also saw a bunch of people with Asian names on the war within Alpha. Show Del footage, and I will create a dwarf healer. Uh, well, wh where are you going to make a dwarf healer, man? Uh, you want to see some Delve footage? <sighs> I've been farming these uh, Nightmare Season ST lately, been making- Oh, you jumped on that train? Nice. Okay, so the way that green items uh, work in uh, in WoW VLC is that there's different green items based on the mob type. Sometimes it's based on the mob time in the specific zone as well. So these guys alongside with a couple of other mobs can drop uh, like some green items that are considered like zone drops or uh, world drops. But the loot tables in WoW are like completely spaghetti. So they don't drop from every mob in the zone. Not that's been confirmed, at least. Uh, let me see. Delves, delves, delves. Okay, I'm not sure what you want to see, though. This video is not public yet, but uh, right now I'm just going through like the different tiers and taking a look at the different rewards that you will get from doing the different difficulties in the delves. And then when you enter uh, a delve, you can talk to the companion, like uh, which is Bran Bronzebeard in this case. 
And then you can uh, you can talk to him and you can tell him that, yo, I want you to DPS. I want you to heal. I want you to tank this delve. And then he also get abilities. As he levels up, you can get abilities, learn new abilities on him. And that's going to change. In Season 2, you're not going to be accompanied by uh, Brand Bronze Spear. You're going to be accompanied by like a different NPC. It changes every single season. So once you got your companion up and running, you can see you can choose the spec right here. What you want him to do. I choose to, uh, him to heal. That was a big mistake. Shouldn't have uh, selected him as a healer. He blew dick. And uh, then you start the delve. You talk to him. Now the delve has started. So you can see the objective on the right side of the screen. In this case, it's to save 10 NPCs. We got to jump on the magic mushrooms on this one. And then there's going to be traps, there's going to be treasures inside the delve, like you can loot chests, you can loot these uh, magic items that will give you power-ups, kind of like Torgas, like increased damage, increased haste, immune to all damage for a minute, movement speed for 20 seconds, and so on. There's also uh, mini-bosses and rare elites inside the delves. If you kill them, you will get like special powers, like good, like epic power-ups. Smart to do before killing the uh, the end game uh, boss, and then there's also like mini events inside the delve. If I can find that, why is it but like this one? Like I'm, yeah, I'm just about to go down to it now, I believe. Yeah, like I wanted to save this group of people, but there's like a mini event where you have like waves of mobs spawning on you, leading up to uh, an elite mob. You kill that and you save uh, all those guys grouped up. And further into the video, I think I'm fighting a... Uh, going up to a rare release right now. The spider, big boy spider guy. And the rare release are always going to have the same power-ups. Like this is me killing a spider. And the spider gives you an epic uh, ability that has... Like whenever you damage, you have a chance of rooting the enemy. Which doesn't sound that good, but if you play something like, if you play a range class like a balance through it, it's absolutely insane. You just root everything. Can't touch you. And then you kill the endgame boss. Which is a big boy elite. Bran is helping me. Kill is a mushroom. You're killing a giant mushroom man in this delve. And uh, the fun part is now, after you kill him... You go into the treasure room, and there's going to be one chest that you can loot regardless. And then there's going to be two chests. A blue chest and an epic chest, which you need keys in order to open up those chests for additional loot. It's fun, man. It's fun. I liked it. It would be cool if we had an NA group together. This open world stuff isn't great without a group. Completely agree. I mean, back when we were only playing retail, there was always people forming uh, NA groups. Oh, yeah, we got two drops now. This Horde Crossbow is another green that's unique. And this one shares an appearance uh, with the, the Shell Smasher. Half a million gold for that market value. In the Delve, Hosas. In the delve. Oh, you were the one getting the steel mallet? 
Uh, they sell... I usually sell bullshit like the shield that I just picked up. They tend to do well. But last one sold for 2.3k, but now it's at 5.5. But shields... I love selling shields, because usually when you sell a shield, you sell like 15 different shields. There's just a clown that decides he wants to collect all shields for his appearance, and he just buys every shield. That's at an affordable price. So shields have made me a lot of gold. So you just get to the end, loot the chest, and that's the entire delve? Yeah, pretty much. You have to do you have to do the objective though, and the objective is different from each delve, Garlara. Once you uh, complete the objective, you can then go uh, and you can then reach the last boss. You kill the last boss, and then you can get access to the loot. And the loot that you can get inside the delve, like yeah, you can get terror sets in the delve. But if you run in season one, the hardest delve is going to be, uh, I think they said level 10, like a tier 10 delve, which gives you equal to mythic plus five loot. I mean, let's face it, we're all most likely running uh, higher than a mythic plus five. I hope there would be like PUE's infinite delve. That would be badass. That would be really cool. I think there was a question about that as well. And they're looking into... They just want to see, like, feedback and how it works. And then we're gonna continue working on delves. Like, something was... Uh, they talked about something like... What if you had delves in every single zone? Like, in the uh, the old world as well. You went to Sanga Marsh. Boom. That's a delve. So why would it say all five of the tabs at Warband Storage cost a total of 3,126,000? Then it might be accurate. I just saw the price of the first one. Like the first one was, I'm pretty sure it was 25k. I didn't think about the fact that most likely um, it would increase like all the other banks would. One thing that they did... In the, which they showed in the video. If you have arachnophobia, if you're literally scared of spiders in real life, you can go into your settings and you can put on a filter so every spider in the game is a crab instead of a spider. Literally, like everything. Enemies, NPCs. It's... Because <laughs> uh, there's... There's a whole zone dedicated to the uh, Nerubians. You know, like the Nerubians of, uh, like, Asriel Nerub, like those type of mobs? They have their own empire in the War Within. A bunch of spiders. Friendly spiders, but also enemies. So there's like a hub, a city, built on Nerubian spiders. But you can... They can all be crabs instead. What about furry phobia? I think it, they embrace the furries in WoW. Yeah, tab one is a thousand gold, then twenty five thousand, a hundred K. 500k, and the last tab is actually 2.5 million. But, like, again, everything is subject to change, though. That might change, and it might not be, uh, uh, like, 2.5 million. I honestly hope they stick with the 2.5 million. There's going to be Crabland. It's going to be Crabland, pretty much. And also, uh, if you reach, like, re like using your bank, your uh, warband bank, as long as you level two characters to level 80, you will unlock this achievement for your warband, which will give you uh, an item that summons a portal so you can access your bank. And you can use it for 10 minutes. Pretty much like a toy that you click on and you can access your bank from anywhere. 
Do you think you'll even need that much space? Yeah, depends on how you use it. But yes, I definitely think so. I really do. You would think that people who are scared of spiders are also scared of crabs. Crabs are essentially spiders with claws that can fall into the water. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, they did say that there was some some of the uh, the people working on WoW, like some of the devs, had literally arachnophobia. Like they felt uncomfortable working on like WoW stuff because they were working on spider models. <laughs> so they used the arachnophobia filters. Crabs are armored spiders. I hope uh, Blizzard sends me the uh, collector's edition, the physical one of WoW. God, that was a badass statue on there. Do you mind if I troll this lack and go to Uldman? No, 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 you can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to do the same farm as us. There's people in this one that's not doing the same shit as us. Well, I can't really know. Everyone is actually doing this now. There's just some people doing it solo, and then you have Castle. I have no fucking clue what Castle is doing. Did you check the war ban or know how big the tabs are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, um, the tabs are like the same size as uh, your normal bank. No, they're, they're a tiny bit bigger, actually. They're, uh, hold on, I have a screenshot on my computer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, twelve. 14. 7 times 14. How much is that, chat? 7 times 14. That's 98 slots in each tab. And then you have the Regent Bank uh, outside of that as well. Why are people doing it solo and not joining me and Sneedy? I have no clue. There's only one guy outside of you doing it. You have you and Sneedy, and then you have Goated. Send one my way too. Boom, boom, boom. No, that was that was probably poorly uh, phrased by me. Since the region bank is already shared between... Uh, no, didn't they? Fuck. Now I'm not sure, man. I think you don't get an additional slot, but the region bank is shared with your alts. Yeah, like there's no so basically when you ent when you talk to the bank, you have your personal bank, then th then there's a tab with region bank, and then there's another tab that's added for the war within with the uh the, the war ban bank. Which has like multiple tabs on it. But I'm pretty there's no new region uh bank. It's just shared between your tunes in the war ban now. But I'm not. I I didn't uh, have any like on the alpha. You were just you made like a pre-made tune with like gear that Blizzard gave you. Uh, so I didn't have any uh, any way of. I probably could have, but I didn't test to see if uh, the materials you added into your uh, your warband bank if they worked like the region bank, like in with TSM, right? Because I didn't have any add-ons on, uh, so I probably couldn't have tested that. But if you have materials in your normal bank and you craft with TSM, 
It's going to take materials out of there, but it's not going to update the interface. Like it's not going to update the amount of stock that's in your bank, but it does that to your region uh, bank. I'm not sure if it will do that in the warband bank. Probably since everything is connected. Because then you could just, uh, yeah, they have the tech for it now, Noki. Yeah, they had to like redo their entire spaghetti code to make everything connected. So I'm guessing that's going to be a thing. So as a gold maker, you would just use the Warband Bank as a giant regent bank, really. Especially if you, if you do crafting. Just throw all the mats in there and use it on the whatever tune. That's going to that's gonna make things so much easier. Also, when it comes to items, like if you want to craft a, a leatherworking item... But in order to craft that, you first need to craft a, a tailoring item, right? For instance, the Onyxia cloak. You need to make like the, the cinder cloth cloak first, and then you need to use that cloak to make the Onyxia cloak. Things like that will be way easier. Homemade egg. They buy eggs and then Castle's mom sits on the eggs in attempts of getting chickens. I Mula, appreciate the follow, dude. Do you think the professions are going to be shared? What do you mean? Sneedy left me, I'm alone now? Feels bad, Sneedy didn't get any loot. It was like, fuck this. It's from my mom's boyfriend's mom. Like, if I level engineering on one character, then I get engineering on my alts, would it be shared? No. Is it possible to look at items uh, on the Undermine Exchange without having to click through old versions, like Aurora, Quick Plate, etc.? No, you can sort it by minor stats, like plus speed. For instance. How long did it take you to make a speed set? It's really fast. It's a, uh, like amount of hours it takes. Uh, well, right now you can make it in uh, close to no time. You just go in the auction house, you buy 9 out of 10 items, and you get the Heart of Asteroid and, uh, Asteroid, and then the, the Long Strider items. Was there any information about the expansion after the war would end? No, they didn't talk about that, really. But, like, you could... The way that they talked about uh, certain features and how they were gonna make sense later on in the other expansions, too, you could tell that they already have, like, a, a very good idea on what the next expansion will be and what, like, the main villain, etc. will be. I, I felt like they are... Like, pretty far with the expansion after the war would end. Well, not far in that sense, like it's going to release in a year, but like... I think it's... Uh, they know what you're going to do, and they have a lot of ideas. Or, you meant ignore varieties, you only wanted to watch the, the base item, because you only care about the appearance, I see. It's gonna be Sylvanas anyways? No, there's a new female villain now. Like this purple void lady. I don't remember her name. But yeah, there's a new villain now. Alaria, is that the name? Alaria? I don't remember, dude. There was a lot of questions about lore. <laughs> I, I, uh, I lost it. Whenever they talked about lore in the q and like shit. Next question, please. Ah, 
However, they did talk about. Uh, well, I can't. I can't. I don't have a release date that I can tell right now because Castle is watching. But they did give us a rough idea on the day that the expansion w was going to release, and I thought that was fucking badass. It's gonna be. It's gonna be similar to Diablo. That's what they said. They really liked the feedback that they got on the. Uh, on the early access on Diablo and the way that they did it, where they released Diablo early access in the weekend, and then the actual game would open up for everyone on Tuesday. So they're looking at that approach. So the game would release like on... Uh, when did Diablo release? Was it Friday or Saturday? Might have been Saturday. Then you could play it Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. So it releases on uh, a Saturday. For the people that have the Epic Edition with the, the three-day uh, early access, and then everyone can enter on Tuesday. Early access as in you lose all progress? No, 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 no. Early access as you get to play before everyone else. Well, everyone that doesn't have the Epic version. But, like, you don't lose any progress. No, 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 no. There's gonna be, like, no Mythic Plus. The Mythic Plus season hasn't started. The uh, the Mythic Raid is not out yet. You can't raid. You can pretty much... You can level up. You can work on your professions. You can work on your reputation, your quests. Uh, you can make gold, etc. But you're not gonna get a... You're not gonna be able to do anything else. You can earn gold. Stop mentioning Diablo. What do you mean? Greatest game. She was trapped in the Shadow Priest Legion artifact weapon, if I remember correctly, or she was the weapon. Yeah, the, sh the Shadow Priest uh, took the weapon and used it in Legion, instead of using the dagger to kill Illyria. They said something like that in the video. Why did they have to make the Collector's Edition fucking 200 euros? Do you want to know why? Because people will buy it anyways. Don't you have, like, every collector's edition now, DD? So you kind of have to buy it, man. You're fucked. You can't stop now. At least your addiction is kind of healthy. You're not smoking anything but weed and you don't snooze. So you can uh, splurge yourself with some collector's edition. Exactly, I'm pissed. Oh. Maybe if I'm allowed to give one away, DD, we can just rig the giveaway so you get it. Why would it say in the collector's edition is on sale right now? No, the Dragonflight one is on sale. For 99 He gets game time for free, that's it. Damn, the last one had more gold. Yeah, this one is... You gotta get lucky and get the previously removed uh, items. Then you gotta get lucky to sell them. I've been very unlucky, man. Dog shit RNG on me. Blizzard owes me a collector's edition for that shit show they pulled in the scan. Oh, that's right! Yeah! You actually won that one, right? You were the first guy, but they didn't pick your name? They did actually scam DD. I remember that now. And they just said, we can't go back on it now. <laughs> they picked the guy with the wrong answer. That was, yeah. I remember there was something, man. They owe me that too for accidentally banning me. Yeah, you did nothing wrong, right?
Did they talk about the Forgotten Sword? Yeah. They did. And that was very interesting. They talked about that. I think you can see the Ion talk about that in the video that they uploaded on YouTube. But there's like, instead of a giant sword, there's a giant crystal in the new zones. You can see it when you look up at the sky. And it changes based on the, like how the sunlight hits the crystal. It changes the environment. And it also changes the mobs and the activity. We're not sure what that means yet. But I wonder if like there's different mobs uh, spawning or more mobs or whatever when the sun hits the crystal in like a certain place. But it looks really cool. Like when you look up at the giant crystal in the sky and this, when the sun hits it. Like depending on the time of the day, well, the, the light shifts and that changes the environment and the mobs and whatnot. Can you imagine? You have the gold farm, but you got to be at the location at 3 p.m. <laughs> If you're not there at 3 p.m., the good mobs are going to be away. You've farmed it hard in phase one? What are you talking about, phase one? Yo, Mithon, appreciate the 28 months, man. Hyper spawn farms only available after castle's bedtime? Oh, God. Can you imagine? Whew. I think it means Wrath of Lich King. I have no clue what Mithon means. This is the Ghoul Duskwood Crypto sign. Oh! Wow, 2003 game finally gets a 2012 insane Minecraft tech. <laughs> it's not a 2003 game. It's a copy-paste version. Well, not entirely. Because in the, the Duskwood version, you can enter uh, with all the vines in here, and you can walk through the... Wait. It's exactly a copy. Yeah. It is... It's a copy. Yes. <laughs> it is exactly the same. <laughs> You remember I said I needed to stop buying gear? Yeah, screw that. What did you get now? Some stupid camera? Well, I'm not... I, I didn't mean to say stupid, but did you get more camera gear again? Like, how, how much camera equipment could you possibly fucking need? Like, people take insane photographs with an iPhone. Why would you need, like, 100k worth of camera equipment? Added a lens to the collection. <laughs> oh, by the way, they also made like a l pretty much every single mount in the game be able to dynamically fly with dragon riding. So, uh, I think they show uh, Mimiron's head in the video. Like, when you mount that, like the fucking head, you can dragon ride with it, like, dynamically. So, when you spin, the head will have its own, uh, its own design or whatever. Like, they, they went into each individual flying mount and worked on every single flying mount. Well, like, 500 mounts. And did tweaks and worked on it, so it would look good dragon riding on uh, every single old mount as well. No, well, there's there's some mounts that can't fly and not those, but the mounts that uh, can be used as ground mount, but you can also fly on them. Yes. They worked on those. Hello, student. I see that it's been two hours and you haven't been on SOD. Have you quit SOD? <laughs> God. 
Hey, student, I just saw your uh, the war within YouTube video. Congrats on getting in. Were you surprised? Uh, it's, this is the first time uh, I know they've done this many times before, but this is the first time that I was invited to play the the press uh, alpha. Haven't been able. They've always I've always been gifted alpha by Blizzard, but not the the press alpha before uh, they hand out the first uh, wave of alpha invites. So that was cool. But it was different, though. They had, like, multiple events based on the country that you're in. So I was obviously in the European... Uh, the European events. Uh, but, like, I know that in the UK, they, they met up, like, physically at a location. This year, you get alpha, but you have to buy the expansion yourself. Money's tight over at uh, Microsoft. Dude, I don't have... The war within the expansion yet. I didn't buy it because I've previously I've received it from Blizzard. So I'm not sure how that works. Like I know that I'm gonna be getting alpha, but can I play alpha without having the game? Like without buying the game? I asked my guy though at Blizzard and he said that uh he was 99.99% sure that he could give me the epic edition of uh of the war within. Like, they they always have gifted me uh, the new expansion, but they always do it kind of late. So I'm so eager, I always end up buying the expansion myself, and then, like, the week after, like, here you go. Take it. I'm not sure if I'm getting the collector's edition, though. That would be badass. Did get the dragonfly. I got the dragonflying one, and I got the, the classic one with the, the Ragnaros statue thingy. Druid's getting dragon flying form, that's huge. Yeah, that was so nice. I forgot about that, and when I was playing the alpha, I went into uh, flight form, and I was just gonna, like, start flying up. And it wouldn't fly up. I didn't look at my action bar. And I didn't understand. I thought, like, okay, I can't fly in this zone, right? It was the first zone that you get to. But it turns out you can't... You, you can't fly with your flying form like in a normal way, only dragon riding. Unless that was just restricted in the uh, the first build. I was like, oh shit, that's right. You can do dragon riding with flight form now. It's really cool. I buy the rag statue of a 3000 health deal student? Mm, pass. What is the next farm? Uh, the next farm. That is a good question. That is a good question. Better question, is there a spot in the next farm? I'm not sure, like, I have no clue if, like, Vimy, Demon, Seno, Roshi, if they're all, uh, up for the next farm. Yo, Vimy, Demon, Seno, Roshi, what farm do you guys want to do? Easier question, will it be open world or instance? I honestly, I, I haven't thought about that. Oh, shit! Schnell is off! Looks like there's a spot for you, man. 
No, like there's probably a way to toggle because imagine running out of uh, what the the energy thing you need in order to uh, to dragon ride Montration, then you're fucked. And when you're looting in flight form, you can't be dragon riding. That will be hell. But there's a lot of things that weren't enabled on the uh, the press build. I need Varit badly. We can do Varit. I also need it badly. But you guys decide. I don't mind what we do. I don't have Sedem unlocked. You need to unlock Sedem. There's so many uh, nice wicks to make gold and serve mortis. Retail lax, hell yes. Jimmy, what's good, dude? So there is none, no zero plans for some good professional rework for the war within. I mean, they just said that they were going to use the same system. The system of getting knowledge points and then specking into the different the profession trees, right? But like the new talent points or profession points, whatever you want to call them, they're not going to be the same as in Dragonfly. That's so lame. What's lame about it? I mean, I think the new profession system is really good. I don't think it's good to not have any BOE items. Well, barely any BOE crafts. But they didn't say uh, that would be the case in uh, in the War Within, though. And I think the work orders are also bad. If you want to make gold with the good crafts in the Dragonflight, you need to uh, do it through work orders, right? I think that's bad. But th there could be BOE crafts, like good BOE crafts. But uh, yeah, they didn't say anything about that. And the the, the devs that we uh, interviewed, they weren't. They didn't work on professions. So there was some questions that they they couldn't answer because they didn't know about that. Uh, like well, I remember when they first talked about placing work orders to craft BOP items, I thought it was a great idea, but I didn't know that they would remove the crafts as BOE. I think work orders should be a thing, but the vast majority of items should also uh, should also be able to post on the auction house. Only thing I don't like about the new system is. Not being able to respec if you change your mind about spending some points. Yeah, that was that was asked. Like someone had that question to the devs. If they uh, if you were allowed to respec your uh, your profession uh, spec, and they didn't know, as they didn't work on that division of the game. Mm-hmm. 
Beartus, what's good, man? We fucking missed you in SOD. Where have you been? Kev me up. Appreciate the follow, man. Oh, my inventory is full. Again. Who's this guy in a budget long boy? Is that Vimy? That's Vimy. This golf time, so no time for computer. Aha. Uh -huh. I also play that this weekend. I'm a fucking legend at it, dude. Like, I would fucking destroy you. I'm a god. Oh, nice and sunny. So, Ölberg. Ölberg. I love it, dude. Such a nice course. Beautiful. I've tried most, uh, well, I think every course that's local, but uh, my favorite is uh, Ölberg. Both, Beartus. How could you betray us and go and play the water within without letting us know? Because I would get fucking sued, man. I nearly fucked up as well. I was gonna do record something in the water within. And I clicked start streaming instead of start recording. Luckily, you have the pop-up that says, are you sure? Now you want to go live. I uh, That was a close one. Holy fuck, can you imagine? Live streaming the water went into everyone. <laughs> Getting my ass sued. So how long have you been playing it for? Uh, like... Uh, three, four years? I don't play that often though, man. In the beginning, I played quite often. But, uh... Like, last year, I only played uh, like a handful of times. Still fucking insane, though. I mean, I feel insane, because the people that I play with suck donkey dicks. So I always beat them. We gotta play one time, Beartus, so I can show you, man. You should stream it? Dude, I once hit an old- well, not an old lady. I once hit a lady in the back of her head, and they, she made a big fucking scene about it, dude. Like, I'm telling you, okay, it's not like it was a good thing that I hit her, but like, when when I hit her, because she, she was she was walking so slowly, you know the hole where you're like, you go up like a, a hillside, and you're throwing down. Right? I can't remember what hole it is. Um, and like, she she was behind the hole, and I I, I threw the, the shot of my life, and I hit her literally like on the neck. <laughs> and she like went down to the ground like, Oh! Oh! Uh, no! I think- Oh no! My neck is broken! I think it's broken! And it was like... Like, she was making a giant scene. Like, sure, it, w it it probably hurts. But she wasn't fucking dying. Like, she didn't have to lay down. She just made me look like a giant fucking clown. I already felt bad. I do, Vimy, yeah. Meanwhile, students just standing there and laughing his ass off. <laughs> the old lady's bleeding out. 
No, no. There was no blood involved. But it's like, I I tried, like, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I just lied. So I didn't see you. I had no clue I could uh, throw that far, which I didn't, to be fair. It was just luck. But she didn't, she didn't answer me. She gave me nothing back. She was like, oh, oh no, oh. That oh, was bad. That was awkward as fuck, dude. So, El Bagnell, Sula, yeah. I said, she's just at Varric, I want in, but I need a quick uh, toilet to get coke after this lack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the Varric. Did she call the police? Call the police? What the fuck? Why would she call the police? It was an accident. She wasn't 100. She was like 45. It is true. I did aim after you, but I didn't think I could throw that far. Pretty much. Like, I, I did indirectly aim at her because she was right behind the hole and I was obviously aiming for the hole. Forty-five, so you're calling yourself old too, dude. I'm so far from forty-five. I'm closer to zero than forty-five. Oh, I bet you're aiming for the hole. Not that way, you fucking freak. Fruity Boxy, you're clueless and you suck. 30 minutes of solo farming and I got Nada. Why didn't Castle join you? You, Castle and Sneedy, you could have made a fortune, man. Should have gone to Master Bed instead. You only need two minutes for that, though. What would you do with the remaining 28? I'm not two manning. It would be three manning. You guys would do good. You don't need more than three people on this. I'm not sure yet. Check on. In that case, I think there's a guy who used to stream on Twitch who streamed disc golf on El Bag a few times. He called himself Sulayon. Really nice dude. Haven't seen him, but like, there's a lot of people that plays by themselves. I've never done that. I I only play. If I'm playing with other people. But it's like a, a very close community. Right? Like everyone is... Like Norwegians, they don't like people in general. But uh, playing uh, disc golf. But like, they talk to you constantly. You just When you're playing, you're just a random guy. Walking all by himself in the forest. You're like, hey guys, what's up? And then uh, like, if it's my time... To troll, I get all nervous, like, god damn, this guy is walking around with a bag filled with, like, 500 discs. This guy's a professional. Can't fuck this up. And then I hit an old lady in the head, and I kind of do. GG, guys. That was really bad on my end. I got some shields that I'm happy I got, but like, God. <laughs> Calling her old lady would make her more mad than hitting her. Lovely old lady, would that help? Look at that win. Did Vimy win? Fucking fake value, dude. I would never pick up the jester stick. Look at the shared appearances, man. God. Yeah, I would never pick up that fake value item. That's beneath me. All right, let's go serve Mortis. Let's pick up a Varit. I'm going to show you guys how it's done.
Yo, Tahoti, you could start with these dungeons on that list. Your mom was beneath me. That's rude. Can you summon me? Yes, but uh, it's possible if you can access Seraph Mortis. If we can't get a full group, we will. We will summon you. Retail the entire stream? Yeah, but I think on the well, next stream on Friday, I'm going to do SOD. I need to finish up uh, this gold farm that I'm working on. And it's early, so there's not that many people to do group farms with early on a Friday. Make prediction? I will. She's going to invite the clowns. Fucking castle is logged into 7,000 accounts. Yo, Vimy, I can't invite you. Are you repairing us offline? It's grayed out, man. When is the next phase? Season of Discovery? We don't know yet. I'm guessing like... Uh, how long has it been now? Uh, like six, seven weeks? I think the, the last phase, phase four, is going to be a very long phase. It being the last phase and they're releasing content in waves like the different raids, etc. Yo, Vimy, I still can't invite you. Can you request an invite? I'm also going to pee before we start. Hold on. Ba -ba. Garlara, you're missing out, by the way. Not playing uh, this phase. Did you see Nikita on the first boss fight of the raid? Fucking 1,500 DPS. Twice the second guy. Well, almost twice. Ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, who do we miss? Seno? Ba -da -ba -ba. I can light out. Yeah, let's begin. And uh, we're fine with the face. I don't see anyone. I think we're fine. 
We'll invite Seno as there we go. Nice. Yo, 3.1 million gold to purchase old taps of water ban bank for 490 slots. Am I the only one who thinks that's not a lot of slots for that amount of gold? Dude, I would pay 10 million gold for 500 slots of space that's shared between all your tunes. If I could if I could buy a 500 sl like slots of bank space that I could keep my materials in that was shared between all my tunes, 10 million gold in a heartbeat, dude. You might log in last face. I didn't test because I didn't have gold cap on the alpha build. But in the the image that the the wild devs showed us, they had nine point nine million. They didn't have gold cap on nine point nine something. So I'm guessing that you can only have gold cap in it. That's me in the group. Oh wait, Seno's not joining. Well, you clown. We can't summon you now. We're in the middle of the farm. Well, I mean, we can, but... Uh, we got a lot of time left, though. I didn't start to lack. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, imagine getting a Varric, and it doesn't count. There we go. We should, um, uh, let's do a lap and then we just summon, um, Velsi. With dragon riding, it takes, like, not even two minutes to summon him. I can literally see a Warlock. Oh! Shit, I forget that uh, Demon plays a Warlock, man. He's big dick DPS. <laughs> Yo! Demon, can you summon him? Yeah, Demon farms this uh, faster on his own than with us. I have made 9,000 gold in one day with seed. So I'm going to leave at 6 out of 8. I, can summon, I can't summon unless old horde. Aha. Uh -huh. Goddamn faction restrictions. Hey, nerds, acid, what's up? Dude, fucking Jimmy is back in Sunwell, that cunt. He gets the sickest loot. You can skip, um, but he needs to do the, um, the follower bullshit. What are they called? It, like, you got to do those couple, if he hasn't done anything, he needs to do those, um, uh, those couple of quests before I can choose to skip everything. We can summon him at the raid. Let's just do, uh, you know, that big pull where the big snake spawns. We kill, uh, we do that pull and then we summon him. That way we're making sure that we don't move too fast either. 
My demon has a lot of DPS. Yeah, this is fast. <laughs> yeah, he's solo in the trash in the raid. We'll see. Making big gold. I tried yesterday, but Priest can't even kill one mob. <laughs> A lot of mobs not being pulled here, guys. Go, 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 get them all. Gotta hope with Cato they give us 10 instances an hour instead of 5. Yeah, I don't remember when it was originally increased to 10. But now having the proper wardrobe system in Kata Classic, it should be increased to 10, I agree. All right, remember, we got to go and summon. Just mount up after this and summon. Dragon Ride... It's fast. It was changed to 10 in Kata. Okay, yeah, then it should be good. Where's the... There's the summoning stone. Anyone? Did you get the summon? Nope, it doesn't work. What? We've done it in the past. Sorry for wasting your time, dude. No sweat. I thought it was possible. Huh. But it is relatively simple to unlock it because you can skip most of the uh the quest lines like you can skip pretty much everything it is very fast <laughs> of course i am tubs Is Cataclysm worth playing? I'm not super excited about Cataclysm Classic, honestly. I'm, uh... I think SOD is more fun. And then you have Retail. I would much rather play SOD in Retail than Cataclysm. I saw that they uh, increased the drop chance on uh, the dagger, Didi. Did you see that? The dagger from Moradon greatly increased the drop chance. Like, people saw it drop a couple of times while farming offerings. Like, there was some people like, yeah, I dropped twice today while farming offerings. Yeah, I'm in a run now. <laughs> 
Warlocks can solo it though, apparently. No clue if it's uh if it's uh, difficult to do. It might be hard to find a, a marrow run uh, that doesn't have casters in it. Can you imagine it finally drops and you lose the roll? Mages can solo too. Oh, you're also doing a condor? Are you soloing it? Or are you in a group? I'm probably good to host a group yourself and just invite melee. Soloing. People I mentioned hard rush just get put on ignore. <laughs> It would be nice to get that dagger on my Shadow Priest. God damn. Scales with spell power, right? That would be so sick. I'm using half the mobs? Yeah, because Vimy is running around on his Feral Druid. Dealing damage, not pulling. I have no clue. He might actually pull in castles slacking. Yeah, I actually need to do it on the Paladin, so I can tank some uh, marrow runs. I'm off. Good luck with the Varets. You're an absolute old lady headshotting slayer, Chad. I go by many names, but that is my favorite name. Thank you. Have a good one, Garlara. Enjoy PoE. The scuffed version of Diablo. Diablo 4 is a game of our century. It is. Way more players than uh, Path of Exile. Path of Exile, like the people that finds Diablo too hard, they play uh, Path of Exile. It's a fact. Pull all the flying fox. I'll try to reach as many as I can. Mm 
God. Come on, Varrett. Come on. Shit. Not even a green. I blame Castle. We didn't even get a shit that big, right? I don't think so. We can't lose to Jimmy. He always wins when he's doing uh, Sunwell. Yeah, we're moving quite fast. Now the patrol spawned. Bro, I've literally done like 30 runs of Sunwell this week. With insane loot. I got 160k pattern. But 30 runs of Sunwell is not that much though. Come on, dude. Come on, guys. The flying fox are flying right above your head. Pull in. We're moving too fast. There we go. Still nothing. 18 minutes in. It's probably because we didn't do a prediction. I forgot about that. We need a fifth? Fuck yes, I know. Get in. Maybe you'll be able to pick up a Varret. Can we really like to the bigger one? Alright. Oh,
Nothing, dude. I got... This is so bad. I got two green... I, I've never had this bad RNG. I thought that stepping away from retail would build up my RNG. Definitely not the case. The complete opposite. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, did you uh, whisper, Seno? My chat is moving so fast. Just uh, request an invite once you're good to go. Mm. Please, no loot, it's so, so dry. Seno's back, but... Ba 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 ba. Let's see. Type and invite. There we go. Yeah, make sure to get all of these guys. The only issue with increased DPS is that they die like all over the place. What the heck is STS? <coughs> I just needed to whisper you so I could uh, press your name and invite you. It's also a secret message saying Castle sucks. Double greens on that. No epic. That's not a secret though, that's true. Very true, in fact. Yo, howdy, laser beam, what's good, man? Yeah, 
Just chilling. Took the week off for some fishing. How have you been? Nice, dude. Catch any big fish? I've been good, dude. I have been good. Thanks for asking, man. Hold another one in the back. There's another hunter here as well. She's a random dude. Yeah, I've been getting some nice uh, walleyes and perch to stock up the freezer and give uh, some to the neighbors. Walleyes? These fucking weird NA names for fish. By the way, uh, student, by the way, why would quote in my Reddit comment where I was bitching about not enough loot in that sunken temple? Noki found it out. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, I think if you're in a guild like us, getting like the full tier set, the three pieces is no biggie. Because if you do, if you do full clears, right? Kill eight bosses, that's 16 tier tokens. So 16 people get a terror token, so uh, in three weeks, you have 16 people uh, with a full set. Like, I, uh, however, it is way less loot than Omer because it's on a weekly reset. It doesn't matter that you get twice the loot from each boss when it only resets weekly. So if you want, like, one specific item from a boss, that's way tougher now. Like, set items is one thing, but if you want, like, let's say you want a cloak, for instance, that's going to be way tougher. The off pieces now are so hard, yeah. Sander. Really, I have no clue. I only know the Norwegian names. I still think that the the loot in Sunken Temple is not a massive upgrade. By all means, there's some items that's just, wait, this is way better than what I currently have. But if you have no more loot, like, the difference is not fucking huge. So I wonder what it's going to feel like once we uh, level to 60. And we start doing the raids at 60. Like, that should be a big leap, right? Hopefully. Like, there's even some items from Nomer that's better than anything in this phase. Like, for instance, the cloak. The cloak from Nomer that I'm using on my palette is Abyss. There's no new cloak in this phase that's better.
We will have Terra in four weeks. Yeah, I mean, my pal in um, has two uh, Terra items now. Might get unlucky and not get it next raid, but then I should have it the raid after. Google says there isn't much Sander in Norway, only a few likes in the south. What, like Sander? Ah, Yurks. Okay, yeah, we do have a different name. Yurks. Okay. Apparently, they can go all the way up to uh, 18 kilos, but in Norway, rarely above 12 kilos. That's pretty big. Huh. I, I've never tasted one either. Is it a good? Is it good shit? Look at Jimmy, man. I can't even... Like, this is so stupid. Dude, he got three epic schematics so far. Arguably the best tasting fish we have ever for freshwater. I always wanted to go to Canada to fish for salmon. But I know a guy who went to Canada and he said it, it almost felt like cheating. We, the, you go to like these national parks in Canada to fish, right? Very strict rules. There's almost too much salmon. Like it's too easy to get like a giant fucking salmon. So it's really fun in the beginning, but it gets dull very fast. Because it's so common to catch a big one. I won't do that, but you, you can't take it with you, Castle. And I, we all know you just want the free food. No! Holy fuck, they dismounted me mid-air. True, I love to eat, so do I. Eating is the best. One of my favorite things to do in life is to eat. Was a couple in Discord. Let me see. General chat. You tag me. Let me take a look. What the fuck is that yellow one, man? You eat that shit? We have a similar fish in Norway. But they're like orange reddish. Boom.
Uh, the fish I'm uh, talking about in Norway, the orange reddish, that looks very similar. It's caught, caught in uh, salt water, though. Boom, boom. And they uh, explode. Like, it kind of explodes once they, uh, when you take them out of the water. So when you, uh, you guys probably have something similar. But when you fish them up, and you drag them out of the ocean. They grow like a blowfish. They look nasty as fuck. But apparently they're really good. I have this uh, memory of uh, me and my dad when we went fishing one time. And we had never seen them before. And we caught like a million of these. But we just pulled them up. And we thought they looked disgusting and probably couldn't eat them. So we threw them out. And then we later heard that they were like a delicacy. Sounds <laughs> like a nightmare. But uh, it was insane. Like, we got so many. We probably got like 50 of them. But my dad, no, he didn't want anything to do with him. Like, just throw him out. Probably poisonous. You're scared of fish? Really? So, like, you would never go, like, sw well, you don't like swimming in the ocean or, well, water in general because you're scared there might be a fish coming for you? In a real-life fishing stream? That would be fun. But uh, connection would be an issue, though. Like, how the fuck would you live stream that? I need to get, like, need to get on that Elon Musk uh, satellite intranet to do that. Use my phone, but like, it wouldn't have any connection. Not where I usually fish, at least. I'm out. See you next time. No key. Have fun, buddy. Starlink? Yeah, that would be sick. We don't have it here, though. Hey, Rob with the five months? My man. Appreciate it, Rob. Welcome back in, buddy. How you been? Do you like monk farming more than Druid Boomy? No, no, no. Not even close. Not even close. I just this is the only thing I use my monk for. I've used I only have my monk because they used to be good for dungeon farming and uh really good for current content two times four farming. Like if we can't get a monk so I can't play my druid, I would uh, play the the monk and invite seven druids just for the statue. I would. But the new World wait World Within? War Within set? Fuck what people uh you gotta add the T on there, Chris. No wait! What dropped? Gavel shit. I thought someone got the uh the Varret and it wasn't me. Yeah, I saw the uh I saw the sets. They look cool. I mean, I, I always think they look cool, the new ones. There's, there's always going to be some uh, 
some sets that aren't to my taste, obviously, but usually I think the tear sets look cool. Cat was the best one? Mm-hmm. My uh, grandpa put a pie cat on my pillow when I was a baby, so I know that's why I hate him. <laughs> Fucking traumatized you for life. Oh, and now the staff. We're getting all the epics besides the Varit. Do you think there will be a new speed set option in the next expansion? Yeah. I do. I do. But it's going to be similar to the level 70 speed set that people are using nowadays. It's just going to be like new higher item level gear with plus speed on it. And then you, you're you obviously going to have the asteroid items uh, as well for whenever you do content below uh, BFA. But the thing is, though, like, the higher you go in levels, the more plus speed uh, you need, so... Oh, no! Fuck! I thought that was the Varret. Now we actually got every epic besides from the Varret. I don't think you're necessarily going to be faster in uh, the War Within. I don't. And I think the best call is to leave your speed set tune at level 70 until we progress like far into uh, the war within when we can equip higher item level loot. Just like we did now in uh, in Dragonflight. Like no one had uh, like an extremely fast uh, level 70 speed set until recently. Like the, the later patches, but in the beginning, nah. -uh. Hey, Ruby, what's up? Good evening. What are you up to? Are the 70 sets better than 61 now? They can be. They can be. But it's, uh, it's more work setting up... Uh, an extremely fast 70 set than it is setting up an extremely fast 61 set. But setting up a fast enough level 70 set is easy as fuck. And I would advise everyone that doesn't have a speed set to make a level 70 speed set these days. You just buy the BOEs on the auction house and get the asteroid loot. Nice, grats, Ruby. Boom, 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 boom. Pull all the flying fucks. Let's go. They're usually too fast to pull all of them flying with dragon riding. I just hope they put World BOEs back in the War Within and Mounts. I asked them that question during the, the Q&A, but they didn't know. That wasn't their division. I was hoping they could answer that, but like it made sense. They had the two senior devs on the Q&A, and obviously they can't know everything about everything. Especially not something that's considered so minor uh, as like world drop epics. Like, 
there's probably not a lot of devs that knows what's going on with the world drop epics and mounts in the open world. But I hope so. I sh I hope so, man. That's so much fun to farm when you have like those giant RNG items that you can get. Optimally, it should be exactly like BFA, where you have world drop epics and also mounts. I think there's a way higher chance of having, not necessarily mounts, but world drop epic BOEs. Because I fully understand why they didn't do it for Dragonflight. They wanted everyone to buy the crafted epics with the new crafting system. They wanted to kind of force people to use the new crafting system. But uh, hopefully they don't think that way now, though. And give us those sweet, sweet world drop epics. Boom. And obviously, optimally, you want, like, one of the world drop epics to be best in the slot. Like, I think it was in BFA, you could get this ring with haste, I believe. That was extremely good. Like, everyone wanted it. It was big gold. To be fair, like, in BFA, most, if not all, the epics were really good. In Shadowlands, they were okay, but there was a lot of uh, a lot of the epics in Shadowlands had not the highest value, not like half a mil to one point five mil like they did in uh, B Fight. But I remember when Anoki joined uh, for two times four gold farming in Shadowlands, and we had this epic counter on, we would see who would get the most epic items. And we killed so many mobs on those early two times four farms. Like, Noki had like 11 epic BOEs in that session, and I got like seven, and so on. It was good. Best skinning spot in Outland. What, what do you want to skin for? Like, what are you after? Like, not tight leather usually sucks donkey dick, so you wouldn't farm like specialized leather, like cobra scales, cleft tooth. Depends on the prices and what you're after. Some people do the crypts of fights. What's that? Shit, the horrible sword again. Eleven minutes left to get the Varrits. Yo, the guys in group, uh, Demon Seno Castle. How much did you sell your last Varrit for? Like, what prices are we talking these days? Like five hundred, six hundred, more. Eight hundred seven eighty. Last twenty sold for four fifty four average. Oh, the last twenty. <laughs> That's a medium pop. Yeah, so I'm guessing that demon's number is more realistic. 
like the average Joe, if you just post it on the realm that you uh, farm on, talking like four or five hundred k. High is one point three right now. One hundred fifty hours. Mm -hmm. I don't mind waiting two months. I do. Not because I need the gold, but I like selling shit, so I feel the urge to go out and get a new one. Like, you're not as motivated to farm a Varret if you have two Varrets on the auction house already. But, uh, if you don't have one, it's more fun to farm it. I don't give a shit if it sells for 500k or... 800k. My luck ended here. Maybe just shifted. Your luck is now over at a different farm. Have you been extremely lucky at a different farm lately? Shit, no varit. That was an Ulderman Gamba. Ah, God bless Ulderman. Fucking great dungeon. Fucked everywhere. Feels bad. So am I, apparently. Older man is like 10k an hour at best. Yes. Usually is. Because usually you just get dog shit. And even if you get a Jinsu, by the time you get that Jinsu on average and you sell it, it's going to result in like 10k an hour. I've always said it. Older man is a dog shit gold farm. It really is. It can, it can be good if you get a super item. <laughs> A bunch of Jinsus or rich purple. But uh, not a good gold farm. Yo, Vimy, did you farm Sunken Temple? The trash? Since you can do that on a hunter. Ah, you didn't do it yesterday, before it reset. The little ones don't drop seeds anymore, only big mobs. Yeah, they just kill the big mobs. Ba, ba, ba. No, the wrong epic again? God damn, and click with the 38 mods long as fuck, ma, man. Appreciate that, buddy. Welcome back in. How's it going? I just checked Wowhead about the uh, Warband bank, and there's a screenshot where the bank has 17 million gold in it, so uh, way above gold cap, and Toons can deposit and withdraw from it. I know they can uh, deposit and withdraw from it. I did not know it went above 10, though, because the only screenshot that I saw was at 9.9. .9. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That is great news, though. I wonder how high it goes, or if there is any cap at all. Or if you can just store, like, all your gold in there. Well, shit, I guess I had an available prime, too. My man! Closing in a four years now, Laser. Absolutely amazing. Appreciate that, buddy. Welcome back in. It's going to be so nice to place all your gold into one place. If you can. If you can. Hopefully it's not something stupid like now. The cap is 20 million in the Warband Bank. I hopefully I will be able to find out the new cap. Maybe it's a hundred million. I do have a hundred though. If it's a billion, then I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> Maybe they just combine all Toon's gold into uh, one, like last epoch, with a cap. No, I mean, that would be the nicest way to do it, just have like a count-wide gold. But you have to actually deposit it into the warband. I'm not sure though, and I didn't, I didn't think of testing that, but I don't think so. It's, I think that whenever you buy something, the gold should be taken out of the warband bank. Because now it's like, you're on the auction house, you want to buy something, but god damn, I don't have the gold. So you need to go to the warband bank and withdraw... Withdraw gold. To buy it. It's like an unnecessary step. Boom, boom, boom. God damn the fucking tornado. Maybe a water bank ATM machine in the auction house. That would be funny. I'm looking forward to cross realm guilds, all tunes in one guild, and craft from one bank, one place to drag mats to. Yeah. It's just nice. Way more convenient having everything in one place. Mm. It's going to be uh, really nice for me because I'm lazy. It's like sometimes when I'm crafting transmog, let's say I miss a material on my tailoring tune, but I have the material on my leatherworking tune and it's like above market uh, value on the auction house. I can't be arsed to log over to my alt and send it to the tune that needs it. 
I would rather just buy it for more than uh, the average price on the auction house because I'm lazy. Don't need to do that anymore. Oh shit, time is up. Dude, we didn't get a fucking Varit. I got... It's insane how my RNG and the green items shifted. Jimmy takes the win. Of course he does. But uh, I had two green items 18 minutes in. Right? Now I have 12, 15, 16, 18. So slightly saved on the greens. There's still some greens that has a decent value in Arch and Dawn. But the uh, smart thing would be to move them onto lower pop realms. Definitely. Anyways, guys, that was pretty much it for uh, today's stream. I'm unsure. I think we might be playing War Within on Friday. Because Elf Invites are going out, right? And I think we should be able to play it on uh, already tomorrow. But I'm not, I'm, I need to get in touch with the Blizzard people uh, and make sure that they hook me up with the Alpha. As I was told that I, I would. So hopefully that happens. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not sure what we're uh, going to do. But we might be doing some war within as well. Uh, but we'll see when the time comes. Guys, appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you back in on Friday. Bye-bye!